The Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been placed on hold after six women experienced blood clots. News Channel 5's Chris Davis spoke to the leader of Nashville's vaccination effort about what happens next. That's why we have the FDA. That's why we have the CDC. And while this is a serious concern, Dr. Alex Jahungir says your chances of this impacting you are literally one in a million. While one, you never want to be that one, um, I hope most people realize that the probability of them being that person is super low. That's because out of nearly 7 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine administered, only six have led to blood clots. Federal health officials will use this pause to evaluate if it was directly the vaccine that caused the clotting or other factors at play. Smoking causes blood clots. Um, women who take birth control pills, um, there's a risk of blood clots with that and other medications. Um, so I suspect they're looking at all that. Most in Nashville with upcoming appointments won't notice a difference. We've been very fortunate to have a, a good abundant supply of, of Pfizer coming to us. And so that's what has allowed us to quickly transition. Dr. Alex Jahungir says if you've gotten your Johnson & Johnson vaccine more than two weeks ago, you're probably in the clear. But if it's been sooner than that, make sure you pay close attention to your body. Now let's say you get a big swelling in your leg um, that really starts hurting real bad or you start having shortness of breath. What he doesn't want you to do is reevaluate getting vaccinated. The best way to prevent getting sick is to get a vaccine. He says by being extra cautious about this, it only proves that scientists are doing their due diligence and not the other way around. I, I don't have the data to know what, what triggered it, but I have confidence in the process and I have confidence in whatever process plays out over the next few days for them to determine what needs to happen next. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. And ahead at 630, we will take an in-depth look at, into the decision to hold the vaccine and the symptoms that you need to watch out for.